so we have been dealing with the problem where we have to find the amount of displaced water so as i talked before in the earlier videos we have two cases okay so the two cases are the case of sinking and the case of floating so we have already dealt the case when an object sink so this is when the density of object is greater than the density of water so we have done this now there's a next case where the object float now in this case density of object is less than density of water so let's see a problem of this category so we have a problem what volume of water is displaced when a metallic box of length 50 centimeter breadth 40 centimeter thickness 30 centimeter is immersed in water so we are given density of water is 1 gram per cm cube and density of metal box is 0 0.65 gram per cm cube now from here we can clearly see that in this problem the density of object that is metal is less than density of water so the box will definitely float on water okay so what information do we have over here length is given 50 centimeter so breadth 40 centimeter and thickness 30 centimeter so how do we find the volume of displaced water so this is the case of in this case the object floats and definitely we have to apply the law of flotation now from law of flotation law of law of flotation we have weight of box the metallic box must be equal to weight of water displaced okay so or now the weight formula that is m into z so this will be also m into z box i'm writing b water w so this will cancel out or we need to find the volume so let's convert so this will be so mass so this will be density into volume so this will be also density into volume so body this will be bb water this will be w w or now we have density of body that is 0 0.65 gram per cm cube and into the volume is given 50 into 40 into 30 so we we'll get over here so that is 50 into 40 into 30 is equals to so the density of water is 1 and the volume of displaced water we should we must find it so if you multiply this all so so we get 39,000 so the unit will be this will be cm cube is equals to volume of displaced water okay so this is it so this is the next question uh, it shows that hydrometer reads 800 kg per meter cube the density of liquid in it is kept and the volume of so this is a very important thing so the volume of submerged part of hydrometer now the meaning that means the volume of hydrometer inside water submerged part this is the submerged part so volume of submerged part of hydrometer is 5 into 10 to the minus 5 so we are we have we are asked to find weight of hydrometer so how do you find the weight of hydrometer okay now since the hydrometer it works on law of flotation and clearly we can see that it's floating over here definitely we have to apply so what do you apply over here so we will apply law of flotation now law of flotation states that weight of hydrometer in this in this case weight of hydrometer must be equal to weight of displaced water we know that it must be equals to weight of displaced water now if we manage to find the weight of displaced water then we can find the weight of hydrometer so let's first find the mass of displaced water again we know that mass of displaced water okay mass of displaced mass of displaced water will be equal to so mass is equals to uh, that is density into volume so we need the density of 
okay sorry in this case it's not a water in this case it's a liquid okay and i've been writing here water so this is the density of liquid and into volume of displaced liquid so density of liquid is given 800 kg per meter cube but volume of displaced liquid is not given okay now we have to recall you know archimedes so what he have said okay that we have talked before also so he have said that volume of object okay volume of object inside water inside liquid or inside water is equal to volume of volume of displaced volume of displaced liquid now if you see over there the question has given us volume of submerged part of hydrometer that means volume of hydrometer inside liquid is given so now this will be equal to volume of displaced liquid so therefore volume of displaced liquid okay volume of now this is from the concept of archimedes so a uh, volume of displaced liquid uh, liquid will be equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter cube so we can keep the value over here so this is 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 now if you multiply we will get the mass in terms of kg and once we have mass you multiply it with z that is 9.8 or 10 and we can get the weight of hydrometer